Hello from Wyoming. We are at the Keyhole State Park here in Wyoming. Site 8 of the Arch Rock Campground. There's a bunch of different campgrounds here in this Keyhole State Park. Um, really beautiful setting. We are right here on the shore of the lake. This is just a small little finger of the lake. The lake is, goes quite a ways that way. It's really big. There's a marina. Um, it's a pretty cool area. Everything's surrounded with the water. Uh, surrounded, you know, with water. It's not. It's not an area that had, like we were just at with Custer, where there was, you know, hiking and lakes and everything else. This is just primarily water, but you can see a lot of people are enjoying it. A lot of people come here and bring kayaks and stuff and get in the water. We're just traveling through, but we've set up shop down there on the shoreline with our chairs, and I'm just enjoying it. It's really nice. But I wanted to show you what we got here. Get a review in of this campsite so you can see i had to um, we got this big area for backing into but we had to put some blocks on three of our tires so we got a single on the front and doubles on the back to level us out um, it's pretty darn close to level it's not exact but i'm not going to mess with it too much more um, our site i think has the reason for the name of this campground there's this arch rock here, which is kind of cool. So we got this little arch rock. It's funny. I mean, it's the real deal. It's not a fake. It's a real deal. It's just here in the middle of our campsite. So this little arch rock right here. Um, as you can see, we have a table that can move. Nice big metal table. A fire pit down here. There's a burn ban in this entire area, so we can't burn anything. Um, they're having some fires actually in Sundance right now. So everything is shut down no fires even in the rings but you walk down here and you get the shore um, like i said people kayaking there's aaron set up on the shore it's a little hangout so it's just really nice peaceful it's not too hot there's a nice cool breeze um, when we got here it was about 90 but when you get down by the water it's much cooler and the breeze is really nice so if you have a tent I don't think this is really set up for tents. You'd have to basically be up here. Maybe you could pitch one here around all these, below all these trees. That's a possibility. It's kind of flat, not very. Nothing's very flat here actually, including our site. Like I said, I had to jack it up. But as far as amenity goes, um, we have some water. Everything's in one spot. So it's not, it's not with all the campsites. There's not water at the campsites. But we have trash dumpster and then up here we've got our water and we're situated perfectly for this with the bathrooms and the water and you can see those pipes sticking out so we're talking about pit toilets here but up on the road not too far from here is the shower house so they do have showers and in each of the shower base is a toilet and a sink and i'll show you that in the morning when we go to take showers so but we have water here and i have a feeling it's good drinking water it doesn't say not potable so yeah it's a good deal water drinking fountain must be a handicap campsite it sure is and i'll just look in i mean we don't really need to see this we all know what this looks like but yeah pit toilet urinal functional smells like air freshener in there so this is our spot for the night and in the morning I will give you a wrap-up of the our experience here and I'll also show you the showers so the next cut will be tomorrow morning and we'll jump right in tomorrow morning right now you can see there's a parking lot some more campgrounds this is a bummer and anyway, i hear it's been broken for a while so we got change over at the at the uh marina luckily they had some to give us because they said they were really running short so they need to get this fixed but here are the bathrooms there's four of them two on this side two on the next side and they're huge so you get a lot of room to do what you need take a shower shave whatever so here's the shower area 
sink, mirror, plug in, air dryer, toilet, plenty of toilet paper, trash. And over here is the system. You got a high low, you control the temperature. And the price is pretty darn good. Three minutes for 50 cents. Um, I did 75 cents for four and a half minutes, but you can see that's good pricing. So it's not free, pretty darn close. Nice big room, um, really good. We'll go around this side and that'll wrap things up of here in the bathrooms. I don't see any water um, here in this section. Nope, let's see two more bathrooms over here. All right, back to camp. See you in the morning. Good morning from Wyoming Keyhole State Park. Here we are, what a peaceful morning. No boats yet. Um, but last night we just hung out down there by the shore and there was these fishermen that were um, fishing from kayaks and they were out there till pretty late. And it was so peaceful just watching them ride around and catch fish. Um, they are doing really well actually. So this would be a cool place to come and go fishing, a great place to come and just bring floaties, whatever. I mean, you just get to enjoy this. People were just like on this little section here, because there's a bigger section over there where the power boats are probably driving pretty hard. But over here, it's just quiet. People are just chilled out, sitting on boards and floaties. Um, it looked great. So we would definitely come back if we want to do water stuff. I think we live a little bit too far away to drive here for water stuff, but um, if you're in the area, this is a cool place. Very cool place. But that's going to wrap us up. We're going to hit the road here. Um, so, so thanks for watching Moose Tripping Campsite Reviews. We hope you find these videos helpful. We sure like making them. So take care, everybody. Hit that subscribe button for us, and we'll see you at our next spot. Take care. Bye-bye.